Pirate! Love him or hate him, they sure are comical, and make for a nice change of pace from other fictional cultures like elves or dwarves or furries. In the stoneworks world of Eltham lies a great pirate state. Not Barbosa, but one better. One more dedicated to piracy. One more dedicated to sailing. One more dedicated to building a long-lasting nation. One more dedicated, and I hope I don't offend any ex-Barbosans when I say this, more dedicated to rum. But how were the Black Isles founded? How do they work? Are they really isles, or actually just one island and a bunch of semi-connected continental land masses? How much rum is there per capita? Well, luckily for you, I know the answers to all of these questions. So let's find out! The Black Isles government is quite a simple, archaic system. It is ruled over by a technically autocratic pirate lord who is advised by the Council of the Corsairs. Within this council are Commodores, the pirate lord's right-hand men and women, Commanders, the highest military authority in the land, and Corsairs, who are effectively just councillors with a funny pirate name. Below the council are the Governors, simple mayors or barons who run regions or towns within the Isles. They are not to be confused with bosuns, who are a kind of first-class citizens, appointed for their commitment and loyalty to the islands, and given the right to vote on the council's debates. The ranking system is linear, and so every rank you move up, adds to your total number of ranks. It may be, as already stated, archaic and simplistic, but it gets the job done, and the Isles are yet to suffer a single coup, or riot, or even peaceful protest. The Isles are, and this is sad to admit, basically not Isles. It is split into four regions, named after the towns slash cities that stand within them. Fosdinus, Forth Negus, Cragmen, and the Scurvy Shores. Which is actually an island, so but the Black Isles are, as you might expect, closely entwined with Barbosa. When Barbosa 1.0 collapsed, most of the players quit or faded into obscurity. However, a small group of them, led by player Earl Grey T, founded the Black Isles on the island of Scurvy Shores in order to maintain and continue the practice of pirate culture. Before long, their population grew and they expanded onto the mainland. Oh, that's why the name is inconsistent. This brought them into conflict with Sylvania. All Sylvanian citizens who might be watching right now, I'm giving you three seconds to click off and go watch something else. Right, now it's just the true pirates left. Here's the deal. Sylvania sucked. The Black Isles has had three separate conflicts with them over the course of, like, a month. Conflict 1. They built a giant capital right in the middle of the Isles and refused to remove it. Conflict 2. Commander of the Isles, everyone's favourite nine-year-old guard ready, entered the Sylvanian capital and massacred the population in an event known as the Sandwich War. And Conflict 3, after the Black Isles and Sylvania claimed ownership of the same land, full-scale war almost broke out. That's a story for another day. When Barbosa returned, the Black Isles happily incorporated back into it and spent a long while with them, even serving in the Red War between Barbosa and the USSE, and completely smashing them, earning many sailors within the Black Isles medals for their service. But when Barbosa unceremoniously threw piracy to the wayside and became, uh, uh, the, uh, that, the Black Isles declared their independence once more, on good terms, and went their own way. In conclusion, the Black Isles have to be my favourite nation in all of Eldham. I'm not biased at all. I love the Black Isles. They are so great.